I don't know what's going on here. But something big is happening. There's not one car on this lot. So guys, as we wait for Snowpocalypse 2019, that's right, one foot of snow is headed our way over the next 24 to 36 hours, and we're ready for it. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, as you can see, we have our front lot all cleared off and all 23 of our vehicles are currently hidden in behind the shop. And the reason for that is simply for ease of plowing over the weekend. See, when the cars are sitting on the lot, it's very difficult to plow around them. So what we'll do on occasion when we know there's a big storm coming is we'll move all the cars out back so they're all kind of in one place. And then that way we have large clear spaces available for snow plowing yay no not yay because in the car business we do not like snow as it sits right now uh we've got these approximately there's uh 20 20 vehicles here there's three more inside so the three inside we don't have to clean up uh but uh, come monday it'll be clean up time here at the shop where uh, each one of these vehicles will have to have the snow cleaned off them start it up which means we got to go grab the keys start them up move them park them in the place that we're going to park them for for sale and uh, grab the keys all out of them again and you know do it all over again when the next storm come which is just coming later in the week and you may or may not be asking well why are all the windshield wipers up well this particular storm is supposed to be bringing some freezing rain so if we put the windshield wipers up they are not going to freeze to the windshield ice can be your nemesis when it comes to windshield wipers. Also, my wife and I just got back from St. John, so it's about an hour away from here for those that don't know. And you can tell that the old Veloster is one great big salt lick. So my glasses are fogged up, but I can still talk to the camera. Uh, once upon a time, we used to be able to fit eight vehicles inside the garage. It was always easy to get one vehicle on the lift and put it up in the air, and then we would drive another one in underneath of it. If you had a small vehicle, such as this Chevy Sonic, we would drive it in this door and up along the front of the garage and park it, again, underneath the vehicle that was on the lift, but clear over to the other side of the wall. That was before we got the big 10-foot workbench. See, this workbench sticks out so far that we are unable to do that anymore. And since we've gotten the small scissor hoist, it takes up so much room, we can no longer park two vehicles wide in that bay. So, without the scissor hoist, without the workbench, we would have one on the hoist, one under the hoist. We would have one parked in this way, we would have another one parked in behind it. And then, we were able to squeeze four more wide, clear across the shop. Which truly was an advantage for us for the simple fact that for every vehicle that you can put inside, that's one more vehicle. You don't have to scrape the snow off. So now that we're back inside the car where it is a little bit warmer than outside, right now it's currently reading seven degrees Fahrenheit, which is whatever this is right here in Celsius. So I wanted to take a minute to let everybody know that today marks one year since I uploaded my very first YouTube video and I am going to put a link to that YouTube video right up here so you guys can go back and watch what old car auto guy started out like back on January the 19th, 2018. It's been a long time getting to this far. Obviously it's a year, but within that year, that's a hundred and almost 60 videos, including this one. Uh, I've been working really hard trying to keep videos on a schedule and right now it's Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and that may change uh, in the very near future. The reason why I say that is because I am thinking about doing a personal vlog instead of just doing three videos a week on Old Car Auto Guy or Old Car Auto Sales. So I haven't quite committed to that yet, but 
there's a lot of things that I like to be able to record for you guys or record period um, that isn't always automotive related and therefore does not fit the realm of what we do on this channel so I thought about uh, maybe trying something a little bit different and seeing if we couldn't gain uh, a following over there as well that way I could do things like product reviews not related to the automotive industry I have had a couple of people reach out um, some of them well one of them from the beard industry beard oil industry and they want me to review their product which is absolutely wonderful but I know I've done it before here I just don't think this is the form for that so I want to be able to reach out to my subscribers and uh, and offer them a lot of value not just based on this channel but if you want to follow me a little bit more on a personal level we may be doing something on a, on a whole different uh, level so I hope that you guys would uh, would follow over to that channel but let me know in the comment sections down below if you think you'd be interested in following old car auto guy kind of behind the scenes and more of a on a personal basis if so maybe it is something and I just need your encouragement to follow through with that so as we enter into the second year of uh, you know of old car auto guy obviously the goal now is to hit that thousand subscriber mark and I have no doubt that we're going to do that it would be really nice if we could do that within the next couple of months we do seem to be growing at the time of recording this video uh, on Saturday afternoon we're at 540 subscribers and I, I always say it guys I'm really really appreciative of those who tune in comment those who are giving the, this video likes and uh, and giving me the encouragement that I need to keep plugging through because when you guys interact with me that lets me know I must be doing something right because you you generally want to see more and you're interacting with me also we still have old car auto guy t-shirts and hoodies for sale at the first link in the description box below so if you guys are interested in some old car auto guy merch t-shirts hoodies lots of colors um, and all the sizes that you could need so that link is there and the contest for 1,000 subscribers is still on we are down to the last 11 days of the month and uh, we're hoping that we can have a big surge of subscribers I'm not quite sure it's gonna happen but if we manage to get to 1,000 subscribers by January 31st then I'm gonna give away $1,000 to one of you lucky subscribers guys I always appreciate everything that you do say a thumbs up and the encouragement that you're giving me for this channel so I'm gonna leave you with this stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror I love you God bless we'll see you again